again and always be by the way my name is Maika and welcome back to oh my g first time ko to guys nagagawa na ito classing vlog kasi madalas naman yung mga vlog ko is challenge challenge ganun eh gusto kong kumuda ngayon gusto kong kumata gusto kong gumanon ganun so natin yung research ko ng grade, ano. Disclaimer lang po, yung nag-base ako dun sa research ko when I was in grade 12. Actually, mag-first year pa lang ako. So, when I was in grade 12, first time. So, this is a uh, research 2. So, pakinabangan natin, guys. May note ako dito. Dito ko na yung notes lahat. Yung mga, yung mga results ko, nandito na din. Sinort out ko na lang siya. Just an opinion, nasa sa'yo na kung susundin mo or hindi. So, yeah. Let's start. People in my age, 18, or let's say 16 to 18 years old before they turn into college. Or minsan, bago ka mag-turn ng college, nang, uh, hindi ka pa nakakapag-decide. And so, according to my research, <laughs> oh, weird no? According to my research, no? researcher ka pe, um, meron kaming five assessments or meron kaming five factors that affects students in choosing their course. So, first is the parents. Parents. Minsan, yung parents natin, minsan, they choose the course for you because they think it's the best for you and because they wanted you to become someone. They wanted you to become an engineer, for example. Next, Legacy. For example, you came from a family of doctors and they wanted you to be one of them. They wanted you to be a doctor also. Next, passion. What do you want to do? What are your hobbies? Ano hilig mo? And kung para saan ka talaga? For me, dito ako. For me, yeah. Ito yung ginawa ko. For example, you are into biology, then take med. You are into chemistry, then take chem. You are into draft. Then take architecture, you're into math, take engineering, um, you're into accounting, and if you're into what I'm doing, just like this, you're into editing stuff, you're into making videos, making films, um, you're into this, you're into organizing something, then probably you're into communication. Next, peer influence. This is, minsan lang ito, nag, uh, minsan lang ito nangyayari, pero nangyayari naman. Um, some people, may kilala ko, sabi niya, tinake ko yung eduk kasi wala na, hindi ko pa alam that type ko anong kukunin ko. And sabi niya, sige, sasama na lang sa kaibigan ko para magkasama kami. And yeah, yun yung ginawa niya. As of now, she's successful naman, but I don't think marami naging successful dahil doon. Kung saan yung kaibigan mo, doon ka na lang din para magkasama kayo. Do you think it will work? And, mahirap pa, baka mag-shift ka ng course at the end. After, let's say, after first sem, um, uh, maglilipat ka ng course. And that's just a waste of time. Next, profession. Ito, malalakas din to. Let's say, you're into profession. Let's say, you want, uh, you want a job na may name before your first name. Let's say, attorney, engineer, doctor, teacher, architect. Minsan, they're into jobs that pays well. For example, uh, people in medical field pay, really pays well. Diba? We all know that. Kaya minsan, nandun sila na in demand. Let's say, tourism. Flat attendants are in demand sa ngayon, di ba? Next, the financial capabilities or capacities. Minsan, ito yung nagiging problema. That's why people can take their desired course talaga because of money. Ito talaga yung mahirap kalaban kasi, let's say, aeronautical engineering, HRM, alam ko, and uh, tourism, they are very costly kasi yung OGT nila sa ibang bansa pa, di ba? Minsan, and if you want to be a pilot, that's so costly. <laughs> Sobra-sobrang costly. Sure, diba kung may scholarship grant ka, diba? 
Hindi naman lahat sinuswerte na magkaroon ng scholarship. Anyway, according to research, legit research from online, it's a research done by... Kalimutan ko na ko sino. Basta sabi daw, majority ng mga successful people ay sinunod nila yung passion nila. And I think that's that works. That really works and effective. And I think, alam nyo guys, ako ha, I think you should know what you really wanted to do. Kung al dapat alam niyo yung priority niyo. Kung alam niyo na kung mas gusto niyo na ginagawa yung passion niyo o mas gusto niyo na kumita ng malaki. Kung para sa talaga kayo, kung ano talaga yung priority niyo and anong gusto niyo maging, dapat aware kayo doon, guys. And alam niyo dapat kung saan kayo mag-grow, anong makakatulong sa inyo mag-grow and kung saan talaga kayo. Ako kasi before, before, let's say grade 9, grade 10, sobrang naguluhan ako and I'm really stuck dun sa, dun sa thought na where will you go to the course that offers a job that pays well or go to your passion and sabi ko, kasi I really want to be more, sabi ko, I really want to be someone and don't wanna be the Mike then you then she was a kid, sabi ko, I want to be somebody and I, Ah, ganon. And sabi ko, gusto ko yung may pangalan before my name. I wanna be a lawyer. Attorney in Austria, ganon. Actually, my dad wants me to take med kasi, kasi daw, because of its name. <laughs> kasi daw, because of its name. And the tarpaulin dun sa bahay, di ba? Kapag nga naman kasi sinabit yung tarpaulin niya sa bahay niya, parang unlucky ng privilege, di ba? Um, sabi ko, I want that when I was a kid. Pero hindi naman pala siya ganang kadali. What if I took biology? What if I took med? With me knowing na hindi ako into biology. Do you think mag-work? Do you think mag-grow ako in that? Sabi ko, no, sige. Ang seeking up mass communication kasi nandito yung passion ko. Sabi ko din, lahat Lahat ng nakapasok sa MassCom, hilig ko. Because mass communication is very flexible. We all know that. So, sabi ko, probably, dito ako mag-work. I mean, dito ako mag-grow. And probably, dito ako magta-successful. Kesa naman, kesa naman, ipagpilit ko yung sarili ko sa biology na alam kong ayoko. I mean, alam kong I'm not for it. Because alam nyo, kapag, kapag biology na yung subject naman, I'm like, Shit, ang tagal naman ang oras. Anong oras na ba? Hindi pa ba tapos to? Ganon. Tapos plus mo pa yung teacher mo na nagbabasa lang naman sa PowerPoint. That really sucks. <laughs> so kapag meet yung literature na, I'm like, bust up energy. Ganon. So doon ko nalaman na I'm ready for it. Kasi alam nyo guys, walang masama na, walang masama na you aim for higher. Walang masama na you dream a lot. Kasi ako guys, Bata pa lang ako, now, ngayon pa lang, I really plan my future, I really, kung ano ba dapat gawin. Actually, in my age, 18 years old, I'm looking for a production team that is willing to train me and willing na tagapin ako sa team nyo kasi I wanna gain experience as early as now. Gusto ko bago ko mag-graduate, marami na ako experience. Kasi marami ako pa nga. Ako kasi yung tao na... I don't want to settle for less. So I think I like what I'm doing. And if this channel grows, or this YouTube channel will expand or something, I wanna speak for the voiceless. And uh, kasi alam nyo guys, and dami yung gusto sa better hindi nyo ma voice out. Like, may ipapanganak ng bago, may mawawala na naman sa mundo, hindi nyo pa nasasabi yung gusto nyo sabihin. Kung natutakot kayo, kailan nyo pa magagawa? kung ayaw niyo magsalita, and I'm here. No, wala, akong, wala akong balak maging politician. Oh my gosh. Parang naman ako tumatakbo. May nagtanong sa akin, sabi niya, in 5 years or in 10 years, saan mo nakikita yung sarili mo? Sabi ko, in 5 years, 4 years from now, graduate na ako ng college. 5 years, sabi ko, I'm employed and I'm still learning. I'm still growing. And in 10 years, Gusto ko settled na ako financially and gusto ko in 10 years, I'm ready to settle down. Ayun. So, in 5 years, pa-post ko to sa YouTube. Today is 
year 2020, 2025, balikan natin tong video na to. Alam nyo, just dream. For me ha, just dream. Ako, wala pa ako nararating. So, hindi ko masasabi kung paano maging successful. Nagbabasa-basa pa ako or nagsasearch-search pa. Just dream. Wait for it and mali nyo. Sana, sana. Sana, I will end it. And, uh, let's see. Mali nyo, everything will follow as planned. So, sana, sana, let's see. Balikan natin to after 5 years or 10 years. Let's see if I am the stage where I'm seeing myself right now. So, yeah, guys. I think that's it. And, meron pa ako isang ipifilm ngayon na din. Pero, lagyan natin yung sa part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, please give it a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. Bye-bye!